Good morning. Morning. Coffee cat. Hey. Good morning, everybody. Morning. Cheers. Cheers. I just want to say something to start this one out. I am very sorry if I offended anybody last week by what we said, by what I said. And it's not going to happen again. I apologize. And that's the end of it. Well, it's about time. Ah, we hope that you all had a very safe and happy 4th. Yes. We did. We um, went to my brother's because it's his birthday. And took him some birthday cake and we just visited for a little bit. And then we got to go over to our daughter Jolene's and her family's. That for was fun. A, some yummy, delicious ribs her hubby made. That was yum, fun. Yum, yum, yum. That was delicious. <laughs> yeah. So that was all good. Threw some shoes. Had a blast. Yeah, horseshoes with the boys. Yep. But then we get back home. And this is Nevada. And fireworks are illegal. Most fireworks. No, all of them. You, can have, you can have sparklers, I thought. I don't think so. Oh. I think people argue that, but I don't think you can. Oh, I thought you could have sparklers. No, See, because we're I remember, I remember <laughs> when I was a kid, we had them, and then they became illegal. And I was like, oh, but they're so safe. But apparently they're not. People must have set fires with them. So anyway, that's the end of that, except for... People had them all over this neighborhood, even the great big in the sky ones. And there were a lot of fires. A lot of fires. Yep, some in the neighborhood, somebody's illegal fireworks set fire to someone else's backyard. It's just, it's so dry just about yep. anywhere in the West. But here where we are, we notice it every day. It's very dry. Yep, and, and uh, wow. Bear, of course, was scared. Tom had to sit on the floor yep. and comfort her. Um, and they're not going off right next to us. I mean, they're just going off in the neighborhood mm -hmm. close by where we're mooch docking. And, uh, you know, she gets she gets shaky. Yeah. She, she gets does, really and her shaky. eyes get real big, and her, she's yeah. like... Big panicked. eyes, all dilated, you know, and she's just... But... Yeah, my sister um, and my brother-in-law went camping, and they took their dog with them because she figured, you know what, I'll bet you there'll be fireworks in this neighborhood. This is their first 4th of July in this house. And she said that she thought people would be setting them off here and not up at the lake where they were, and sure enough, she was right. Mm -hmm. And it was worse, I think, than it probably normally is because all of the public displays of fireworks had been canceled. So people were just going to the Indian reservations and buying them and then bringing them here. Because in some uh, areas on the Indian reservations, they can sell them. People still are not supposed to set them off in the illegal areas. But they do. There was a plethora of illegal fireworks. And by the way, I want to say thank you for educating me and letting me know the meaning of plethora. It means a lot to me. It does. <laughs> yeah, well, you got a plethora of sunburn. I did. I jumped up on the roof of the RV. I decided to clean the gutters and, you know, all the black gunk that kind of underneath. And I got up there with a tank top on and some... A white tank top a white on tank a white top roof. On a white roof. <laughs> On a sunny, hot day, which every day is like that. And it just didn't even dawn on either one of us. It was... Never thought about using any... Sunscreen. Sunscreen yeah. or anything like that. Laid on my belly, reached over to side. I mean, for, what, how many hours was I doing that? Okay. And I just got one side of the RV finished. Then later that night, I'm like, I don't know, what's I'm wrong like, with you me? you are pink. Oh, he just, his <laughs> shoulder down his arm, across the back. And then his, his other arm, but this is the worst one. And then yesterday it started blistering. <laughs> I'm like... I look like the boy in many bubbles. <laughs> in many bubbles. <laughs> uh, yeah, now it's, you know, getting to that stage where it's like really itchy. It's going to be w even more itchy. Yeah, great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. <laughs> so that day... Um, Mom and Aunt Muriel came over. Mom yep. comes over here to go to do her laundry. And, and I invited visited. both of them up on the roof to help me out, and they declined. Yeah, can you imagine that? I'm like, they come don't on. Get up on the roof. You're sitting in our chairs. Come up here and help ah. me. <laughs> <laughs> and then while they were here, 
and you were walking around and oh, um, yeah. he says, oh my gosh, there's a big fire, fire behind our house, behind our behind the RV. And I'm like, what? So I come out and I'm looking behind the RV and I'm like, there's no fire. But it was behind the neighborhood up on the hill. I felt like the Marshall Tucker band. Okay. Fire on the mountain. Oh. I came yelling, fire on the mountain! Yep, <laughs> there was. But they got it put out really quick. Uh, thankfully... Tankers. We are not very far from the airport where they fill the tankers. Mm. So they had it done really fast. Yeah, it didn't take put long it out. at all. I don't think it got to be more than 10 acres. And it was... It looked... The smoke looked like it was close. But when Tom and our nephew went up on the hill... Um, to see it, it was further away. You got some video of it, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah. tanker dropping yeah. the pink stuff. So, um, then Monday, so I don't know if it was sitting outside on Sunday. It got to me, and I had one of my dizzy spells all day. And it, this one was a bad one where I was really nauseous. Not crazy, dizzy. <laughs> There's a difference between crazy and dizzy. Um... <laughs> So I was not very, I did like one or two tasks that day and I couldn't do anymore. I had to lay down my head just mm -hmm. hurt and your sunburn hurt. So we were just not. Uh, it wasn't feeling good. She wasn't feeling good. <laughs> I wasn't feeling good either. It was, yeah, it was not good. So we just kind of relaxed that day. Mm -hmm. And then on Tuesday, um, you went for the walk with our yep. daughter and went grandson. Went back to the Helms pit and walked <laughs> around that place. I and, stayed home. Uh, I just have a class to, um, today, and I don't want to be sick for it. So I needed uh, to just relax and make sure that my head got all settled. So, yep. um, let's what see else here. What else is on our list? Uh, feeling better. Oh, our brother-in-law Kevin is amazing. Yes, he is. He put in a 30-amp plug for us so we can have some air conditioning. Mm. Fired it up yesterday. So does that mean we're not boondocking anymore? We are true mooch docking. We now. are mooch docking. We will pay for the electricity. Yes, we will. And garbage. Yes, we will. <laughs> we will be throwing them some money because that yes. is something that comes out of their pocket. You know, they have to pay yeah. for our electricity, and we're filling up the trash bins, and mm -hmm. so. So we will give them pay. Or that, or I'll trade it off with my work with my sister. But it's pretty cool that he got it put in, you know. And yes. We ran the air conditioner yesterday just as a test to make sure we could run it on the 30 amp. And we had both fridges on electric. And I wasn't thinking about how much the amps were on the fridges. And so, boom, pop, blew, pop, yeah. blew a breaker. So, uh, popped it. So, reset everything, got the book out, looked at the amps on our fridges, put the fridges on gas. Refrigerator runs uh, on gas perfectly. And the AC ran with the 30 amp, no problems at all, and it cooled it right down. So, at least now we know for at least a few hours in the afternoon when it gets up into the 90s, we can cool it down and not yes. have to worry about it being 100 inside the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes the fans just don't do enough if they're blowing just hot air around. Yeah. So, um, But it's nice to have but, that. Yes, so we appreciate Kevin very much. And then, um, so I was getting ready the other morning, and um, you know, I'm doing my makeup in the mirror in the bathroom, and Tom comes in, he says, are you finished? And I went, well, I guess not if you have to ask. <laughs> like, thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. It was my turn. Your time was up. It seems like it takes longer and longer and longer. Hey, you know, and I don't even have to do it at the sink. I can go do it over by the other mirror. Oh, anyway. Then we had to go get our groceries. I yeah, another. Oh, God, I hate going to the store. I hate it. I hate going to the Walmart. I period. just hate shopping. I hate it. Any kind of shopping. God. Just, you know, every every time we go, I end up getting that much closer to trying the curbside pickup, delivery, whatever you want to call well, it. Wendy uses it, but it's she like, it. God, I'm too picky though. It's like, well, you don't have to go. 
Yeah, but then I just hear about it. <laughs> yeah, just the idiots going the wrong way or not wearing masks or wearing their masks like this. And so it's always an adventure. But uh, yesterday we got to go have fun. I, I just think, you know, back to the mask thing. Oh. Here we go again. All right. Whether you believe in it or not. That's a good segue for that. If you're not going to wear a mask, that's fine. Don't wear a mask. Okay? But if you're going to wear it, wear the damn thing properly. Don't put it down below your nose. Don't put it over. Just cover or up your chin. Your chin. Or God. go like this. Um, hello. Da, 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 da. Hello. Uh, da, 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 da. You know, it doesn't matter what you believe in. If you're going to wear it, wear it right. Otherwise, just don't wear it. You know? And speaking of wearing it... We, you can wear you can wear our masks. A Tom and Lori RV Life mask. <laughs> We're selling them through bonfire. Whether you want to wear it or not, you can hang <laughs> it from your rear view mirror like I've seen so many people do. Whether you believe in them or not, this thing's going to become a collector's for, item someday. Maybe years, but someday it'll be a collector's item. And you know what? If you buy mm. two, and when you're all done, listen, when you're all done with you know wearing it over your face, you can make a bikini top out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you need three. Bikini top. Oh. Well, a full bikini, you need three. Three. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, I didn't think of that. We're selling bikinis through yes, Bonfire. We are. <laughs> we'll have the link in the description below. Oh, my gosh. So, and it's just for fun. Please do not take it as a political statement that we are selling masks. But we are selling masks. Yes. But it's not a political <laughs> statement. It's just for no. fun. So, um, for, uh, yesterday, oh, we yeah. uh, went pew, 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 and with my sister Judy, and we had a good time, and then you surprised me on the way home. Yeah, we're going down the street, and I see these two great big letters, and I'm like, ooh, been a while since we've been in there. Pulled in. We went in and had peanut butter parfaits. Yep, at the DQ. <laughs> I was like, oh, yay! Pew, pew, and ice cream in one day. <laughs> awesome. And then we were sitting around yesterday evening chatting with Wendy and Kevin, and we just decided to have dinner together. And so yeah. we grilled up some hamburgers and some French fries and mm -hmm. had a nice visit hanging around. So I got to spend both sisters. time with both my sisters yesterday. Yeah. And my brother on Saturday. That's what mooch ducking is all about. It's so nice to be here. It really is. And you know what? It, it's the first summer in three years, well, four years, that we've got to just spend time here. Mm -hmm. Because the past three summers, we've been, we were um, camp hosting. And that's part of the really cool thing about the RV lifestyle and the RV life that yep. we live. We love it so much because we can go. We see relatives more now than we did when I was working full time and we were living in a different city. Yeah. You know, and it's really Getting cool to spend because more time with them. More quality time. Yeah. You know, instead of coming in for a weekend and it's quick here, quick there, quick here. Yep. We get to sit around and jaw and just have a great time. Yeah, especially with you being in radio because a lot of radio events happen on the weekends. Mm -hmm. So he works all day long, all through the week, and then working on weekends. It too. was always tough to get away on weekends. Yep. So but, it was like you know Yeah, we would be able to get away like what, um a weekend in July or yeah. something maybe. Yeah. So but this lifestyle is so great for us. We love it. Yep. We're not looking down the road that far, so we're not looking I know a lot of folks, a lot of our friends are like, ooh, we're going to buy a, buy a plot of land, we're yeah. going to buy a house, we're we going to do this, that, do that. A lot that have. As a matter of fact... Um, My eyes Bob aren't that per good. I don't have 20-20 vision, so I can't see f that far down the road <laughs> yet. Bob and Pearl showed us um, on their video from Next Exit, they showed us their new little house that they yep. got in Yuma. It's yep. really nice, you guys. And we saw something hanging up on the wall, so j just a minute. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Pearl. Pearl, Pearl, we saw your pictures on the wall. Bob showed them. Guess Look at this. What? Look at this. I have one too. <laughs> and you know what? I've got the same like green little boa thingy on that you had on. And did you get them taken in Reno at Park Lane? That's where I got mine. I'll bet you did since you guys used to live in Reno. Yep. I bet you we wore the same dang little green thing <laughs> over us, didn't we? 
Who had their glamour shots done back in the early 90s? I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. I'm having a glamour shot done right now. Yep. That's pretty good, isn't it? Glamorous, all, all right. right. Hey. Who, who the hell dressed you this morning? You must have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, you guys, you have a great week. Oh, what? one more thing. Oh. One more thing, okay. really, really quick. Um, Mike and MJ's Ad RV Adventures just put out a video on Thursday about 10... Ah, Ten etiquettes, good etiquettes uh, for National Forest, camping in the National Forest. It could be for anywhere that you're RVing. You need to go check that video out because they hit that one out of the park. There are so many things on there about spoon docking and, and picking up your trash and picking up your dog's poop and picking this up and, and just being nice and cordial and using a little freaking common sense. Yeah, and those rules can apply anywhere check out their video mike and mj's rv adventures we will yes. link them below too yep so good job mj and mike yeah all right guys now that we're it? done now okay. we're done now we're done all right everyone <clears throat> have a fantastic week and yep. we will see ya next weekend see ya Hey, Zach, how come you didn't come and get in on the video? Hmm? How come you didn't come in and get on the video? I just made myself seven eggs. Seven eggs. You are a teenage boy. <laughs>